Max, in a regular season game, do you throw all your pitches out of the gate like that first time through, or are you just trying to work everything right away today? Yeah, I'm, you know, today, you know, talking with Nito, I just wanted to come in and just throw strikes. You know, first inning out, uh, you got. I wanted to just come in and uh, fill up the zone. Uh, from there, you, that's when you can. Be, if you have feel for your strike zone, then you, then you learn how to you know, kind of pitch around the strike zone. Uh, but you can't do that until you until you know exactly until you can just pour it in there, pitch after pitch. So uh, that was a good thing today. Was throwing a lot of strikes and uh, you know got my work in and got five innings in. And without having covered you in the regular season, do you get that feel by throwing everything right away, or do you? Do that? Well, you, you, you get in season, it's any pitch, any time. So uh, you got to be able, you got to be willing, you got to be ready to throw any pitch, any sequence, you know, at will because that's how good the hitters are. They're so dialed into what you do. Uh, you really got to, uh, you know, change up everything that you do. So, uh, you know, but that's just the way. That's just the way it is. In life in the big leagues now. Knowing you face these guys so many times during the season, does it affect the way you approach them at all in spring training? Or just kind of go out and do your own. Um, kind of do my own thing, and that's where I said today. I just wanted to throw a ton of strikes, just attack the zone. Um, you know, wind's blowing in, <laughs> so it gives you even more reason to try to let them hit it out of the ballpark. So, um, you know, like I said, got my work in, didn't walk anybody, attack the zone, a lot of first pitch strikes. You know, that's all the good stuff. How bad did you want to get a fastball by Stallings in that first half? Huh? Yeah, it, <laughs> well, I, it's not first at bat, it's every at bat. Are you pretty much thrown equally to Nito at the end of this point? Um, I probably thrown a lot more to Nito. Uh, Nito was coming in and catching some of the some games, uh, you know, during the lockout. So, uh, you know, we've kind of worked some hitters and kind of worked some sequences, and uh, you know, he kind of understands what I want to do. So I would say, I would have to say I actually thrown a lot more to Nito. Do you feel more comfortable with him? Yeah, uh, no, I, I throw to any catcher. Buck puts any catcher in there, I will make it work. <laughs> I don't play that game. Nito came up from came up to Cressy to catch you. Is that right? Yeah. Do you, do, you, uh, do you feel like you're a Met yet? Do you feel normal in that Knicks uniform, or is it work in progress to to change our identity? Yeah, I wouldn't put it in those terms. Uh, you know, when you actually go out there and compete in New York, and you have everybody behind you, and you actually go out and win a ball game, I mean, no matter what happens, that, that's you know, that's just a different level. So it doesn't matter what you do in spring training. Uh, you want to get to the season and get out there and win some games when it counts. So. Um, you know that that's what that's what all this work is for. So you know that's what we're doing right now, get, going through spring training, getting our bodies ready uh, to be able to get to the point where we can go out there and compete our best uh, in the regular season. Your kids have Mets gear yet? Oh yeah, yep. For you individually, is it more fun to come here to pitch than it was to come here to negotiate a CBA? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can answer that one for yourself. <laughs> Seem like there are a lot of fans that obviously some with signs and wearing your name on the back of their t-shirts. Just uh, how exciting is that to know that this organization has really embraced you, the fan base has really embraced you? That's awesome. Uh, good. Uh, you know, what, just because you know, it's fun to have you know these New York fans behind you now. Uh, you know, coming in and, and competing against them for so long to now have them on your side is great. Uh, you know, to see kids out there wearing your jersey that always puts a smile on my face. Uh, so I want to go out there and represent uh, myself and the Mets as best I can and uh, go out and compete as well as I can. You've talked about liking the challenge of you know guys coming after you in, in games, but are there particular places when you were not with the Mets that you enjoyed going to? Was New York one of those places for that reason? Yeah, there's, I mean, I, I like a hostile environment. Uh, I like it uh, you know, when there's a bunch of crowd and a bunch of, you know, it you know, feels you know, like everybody's coming, you know, the, you know, the, the fans are coming, it feels like they're going to come out of the stands and get you. So. Uh, those, those are fun environments to pitch in. Uh, you know, I, I'm a high adrenaline pitcher, so you know that I feel comfortable pitching in that environment. So, um, you know, New York is obviously one of those type of environments uh, that you know that brought that type of energy. So, uh, it, it's going to be fun to be pitching a lot in that type of atmosphere. The normal spring, five innings, six innings, is probably the max you go before you break camp, and you're there on the first start. What, what do you do for that? Go no, it, it was 75 pitches. Uh, you know, I was able to get into the fifth inning today because uh, my pitch count was down. Uh, you know, I, I, in the previous same game, I was up at you know 60 pitches, so that gave me the clearance today to go to about 70, 75. You know, hit that on the mark. Um, so that gives me, you know, next start out will be you know kind of in that 90-ish range, uh, and then the last one will be 95 to 100. Regardless of the uniform, is it feel good to obviously all of the off-season workouts? To be, you know, in a game situation, to you know, be in front of fans—that's got to be a lot of fun for you, right? 
Yeah, that, that's the, that's the next level kind of intensity. Is uh, you, you you can you can have as many sim games as you want. <laughs> you can't. It's really hard to simulate anything. Uh, you can't simulate the atmosphere. And so you know, even if we're here in spring training, uh, just to have fans out here, umpires, everybody, um, you know, that gives it a good dress rehearsal of uh, you know of what, the work that you need to go to. And, and obviously, once you get to the season, then there, there's a whole nother level to it as, as well. I was just about to ask, how much was there adrenaline today, or was it just clinical? For you? Um, you know, you, you, you just, like I said, I, I was working on just trying to throw strikes. You know, that, I came in here with it, that, that, that was my goal, and I, I, you know, I did that. Okay. So I wouldn't go too much farther into it. Did that uh, bunt catch you off guard? Start the game? I don't know. People bunt, people hit. It's part of the game. In a, in a normal non compressed spring, do you usually back off your final start before the season or not? No. Yeah, I usually push it. I want to be at that. I would usually kind of want to get to 100 pitches. I want, I want to experience 100 pitches, tie, and maybe be tired uh, kind of on that 100th pitch. So then, uh, in, you know, when it's open, you know, open day that your first start, that you're able to, you know, that way I can tell Buck, you know, I've been to 100 and I know kind of where my line's at. And, um, you know, it's a much more honest conversation at that point in time.